Gather round, hunters, and welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Command, Orion Prize Plus Mod. I am Rear Admiral Tirek of the battleship Killing Song, as we continue our catfight against the Lyran Star Empire. We have been battling and bashing and smashing into this planet here, the homeworld of the Lyran Star Empire, for the past episode, and we will continue this war. We will continue this battle, trying to annihilate our enemies as best as we can. So far, things have been going well. Last episode, we had a lot of heavy enemy ships, or heavy friendly ships. We are, we had uh, a battleship, a BBX, so the full-on largest battleship that you can possibly have in this game supporting us from the Federation. We also had support coming from a, uh entire carrier group, a space control ship, and a heavy carrier from the Federation. And uh, a couple of guided dreadnoughts and a heavy dreadnought. So we really just pulled out all the stops and brought the biggest, nastiest ships we possibly could bring in the last episode. So we're going to try and continue that tradition of big gun battle, or in our case, tons of missile fire battle, as uh, we continue to try and take this homeworld. The battle is long and hard, but we must capture it. Because once we capture it, then... But, well, actually, it doesn't provide you a super huge bonus. Yeah, you do get the massive economic bonus of having a planet and a homeworld to boot, but it's not like the enemy surrenders or anything. So we are going on a mission to kick some Orion, I think they are? Well, they're, they're probably not Orion. They're, uh... No idea. Doesn't matter. Pirate butt. That's all what we really care about. We're going after the pirates. We're going to kill them. And we will engage with disruptors. They're disruptor fours, so at a range of 40 we can begin engagement. We missed every single shot. Okay, good job, guys. Good job. Three cheers for accuracy. Get in nice and close, and slow down time. Disruptors, we're going to get in really tight with you. Not enough. Phasers, kill me a light cruiser. They didn't. Okay, that's not cool. You were supposed to kill me a light cruiser. Aft phasers. No, apparently all my phasers can fire in that. That's a bit much. Okay, maybe it wasn't a bit much. He has quite a few defensive systems. We need to slow way down, because we are just soaring at way too high speed through this whole thing. Prepare the phasers. We should be able to kill this guy without too much effort. Once we get phasers charged to fire, there we go. And we'll fire the C-Racks, because the C-Racks will load extra quick. So if we've taken out enough systems, we should be able to k stop him from being able to shoot down our phaser systems. Disruptors charging kind of slowly. The missiles do their job. There we go. And I'm going to fire Mervs at you. I'm going to fire you, 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 at you, and you. I'm going to fire at you. And then I'm just going to seed this with lots of disruptor fire. Let's see if that can take it out. His phasers does quite a good amount of work, but he didn't have any, uh, any defensive tractors armed. Hmm, interesting. You're dead. You shot down three of them. And you're dead. Good job. Excellent work all around. A bit of a waste of time. Uh, not gonna lie. There's really not a huge point to killing pirates. You need to be attacking the planet, not the pirates. Uh, 300 prestige, though. So that'll pay for the missiles. And it neutralized the tile! Holy crap! Pop back here real quick. Real quick. I need one to... Just load up on full ammunition real fast as we can, because we don't want to be low on ammo when we if we pick up another major fight. So done there, map there, pop over here. No mission! No! Give us the mission! We deserve this mission. We fought over this planet long and hard. It's got to be the homeworld assault. We've got to do a homeworld assault. <laughs> like, we could do the shipyard assault, and the shipyard assault is probably even the safer way to do it, but we've got to do the homeworld assault. All right, we are escorted today by a DNF. This is a plasma-armed dreadnought, the Antares, which is a very common federation, and a ba battle cruiser carrier, a BCV, USS Yamamoto. Yeah, it's a battle cruiser, and yeah, it's the carrier battle cruiser. You can tell because you can see the shuttle bays on the side. These are shuttle bay doors, or fighter bay doors, I guess you could call them. Uh, we are picking a fight with currently just a DNX, so an early dreadnought. Uh, let's prep the scatter pack. You never know when you might need it. We haven't used it in our previous 
engagements with, uh, with enemy dreadnoughts. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Let's get the fighters deployed into space defensively. And launch our probe. Up oh, there's the second dreadnought. It is a BBX. Ooh, this is the biggest battleship in space. So we really need to focus on killing him. Ooh, that's that's dangerous. So we're a battleship. He's slight tier above us, I want to say. Because BBX, he'll have the X-type phasers, which will be nasty. Nasty on their own. So we are definitely the big stick in this squadron here. Tell me what this planet has. This planet is pathetic. It's got nothing. It's armed only with Phaser 3, point defense phasers. All we got to do is sweep aside the defenders, and we have a victory. Let's increase speed to 16. And Yamamoto, you should probably pull in behind us. I'm just saying that that you don't want to be the first thing that battleship sees. And Terry's should pull in nice and tight to us. Oh, this is going to be ugly. We're definitely going to keep prepping scatter packs. Because this is... There's no other way to put this. This is going to be ugly. Let's fire the Mervs. I wish the Mervs were in the forward slots and not the rear slots. It, it kind of bugs me that they are set up like that. Because it doesn't make any sense to set them up like that. At least I don't think it makes any sense to set them up like that. I would set up so the Mervs were in the forward... As far forward as we could possibly make them. And then every other missile were behind that. That way it would always make sure that the Mervs were out first. Can we kill a Dreadnought before a Battleship X shows up? The answer to that question is going to be maybe. So we'll get in the full salvo. Peeking out ahead of us. I think I'm going to stream these about. The uh, Bastion G is already operating on working on long range firepower. Our shield's working on struggling to maintain under a pretty heavy amount of firepower. Is that battleship vectoring in on us? It is. At least I think it is. Either that or it's going after the Yamamoto. Either way, he's going to Wild Weasel. He can't not. So let's focus on this guy. We'll set Mervs. Oh, crap, no. Well, actually, maybe if we time it just right. Uh, we can't really afford... Oh, free shots! Free shots in through a corner. Okay, I hear missiles hitting, so we can deploy almost all our missiles. We lost some to, due to the control limit. Oh, we're getting lots of shots in through. Looks like he already deployed a wild weasel or something. Look at all the systems going down on that ship. Oh, this battleship. This poor, poor battleship. He's activated his ESG, I think. Yeah, he did. But we managed to spread it out amongst a bunch of different targets. Oh, we need to get the Bastengees back right now. They are low. We need to get them back on board before they get annihilated. Mervs. It's a point-blank range Merv shot, so it's not a great firing solution. But they will pop just in time to take up all of his defensive tractor beam systems. And that does in the battleship. That'll take a ton of pressure off. How are we doing? Fighters? Both of them are in the squadron base. Excellent. Alright, let's continue to put the hurt down on this guy. I think our initial salvos did quite a bit of work here. We do need to get in here if we want to save the Yamamoto, and we do want to save the Yamamoto. Losing... It's a battlecruiser. It's a good battlecruiser. And right now it's being chased by four PFs. So we've got to deal some serious firepower, and soon. So I'm going to open fire with our Mervs. And I've got nothing to support you with Yamamoto. Drag him in close enough to me, and I'll be able to fire... I'll be able to fire phasers into him. Oh, good turn! He was able to do it just in time to support his... Uh, to put a shield in front of him before their heavy weapons were able to get into play. Phasers. Come on, give me enough phasers to clear off Yamamoto's stern. He's deployed a wild weasel. Disruptors. Uh, it's not enough damage. We're just not dealing enough damage to get through. Point blank range missile shot. He did pick them up. I think we managed to clear off all of the uh, all of the enemy PFs. Looks like they're all dead. Alrighty, onto this planet. Whew, good work. 
Excellent job, everybody. Let's get up to speed here. To our speed of 24. First Merv Salvo. Second Merv Salvo. Slow down to normal people time. Drop back in speed. We want the Mervs to get out ahead of us. Also, we don't want to smash into the planet. Smashing into the planets is bad. It's very, very bad. I'm even tempted to launch in another Merv Salvo just to eat up everything, but that would be overkill. The first Merv Salvo eats up the enemy anti-missile fire. The second Merv Salvo eats up the enemy tractor beams. And then the real Salvo punches through and causes super nasty damage. Uh, increase speed. We don't want to go that slow. We don't want it to take three turns to get into range of this guy. Oh, it has no shields? Really? Oh, well, it sucks to be you. Yeah, this wasn't even necessary. We could have just long-range bombarded it. Yep, we shot down most of them, and then... Tractor beams activate. And then the real salvo comes in. Yeah, that plant's done for. Let's slow down. Try not to crash. Eight. Seven. Pull down a little bit faster. Six. Almost there. Three. Two. One. Holding at one. Let's just get a little bit closer. And stop. How are your Marines doing? Capture. Six Marines on board. Still need to do more killing. Three Marines left. Disruptors will be ready next. Let's increase speed to... Oh, crap! We don't want to go forward. We're already close enough. We don't want to die. Alright, that's all. The Marines will go and capture the planet. We have like nine or ten transporters on board this thing. It's amazing. So now we just wait for the planet to be ours. Homeworld captured for the third time. The first time they defended it with, you know, heavy dreadnoughts. The second time they defended it with light dreadnoughts. This time they defended it with a Battleship X and a light dreadnought. So, 670 prestige, and the planet is taken. Nice. We'll go to the supply yard, patch up the damage that we've taken, give ourselves more missiles. Puts us at 198 to cost that, so relatively cheap. And again, we didn't lose any passengers. Excellent work, everybody. So we've managed to capture a homeworld, which is fantastic. So let's start putting the pressure down on this planet. Raise some hell, cause some damage, put it out to hurt. Apparently it's going to be a Romulan shipyard? Lies. I don't believe you. It's defended by a light cruiser. We are not escorted today by anyone. They just descended to se decided to send us on our lonesome into this fight. I understand why. I'm still just a little bit annoyed that you decided to do things that way, though. Because, you know, it's fun to have friends. Oh, we still need to wait for the... For the shuttle bay to charge, let's set up, reinforce all maximum power. And now we are in range, we'll have to wait for the Mervs to come online before we get to start seeding out a salvo. And... Mervs away! There we go. The first two Mervs are now headed out. And I think we can... We'll reduce speed just a little bit. We want to hold at 12, because that's half speed of the missiles. That means the missiles will be half a turn behind. And half a turn behind means that we might be able to avoid a major incoming salvo. Now, if we were a more nimble ship, I would speed up to 24 before firing all four MERS, and then I would drop way back to fire the rest of the main salvo. Okay, and fire the MERS. And let's get the shuttles out. Or, not the shuttles, the fighters out. Which I suppose they're technically shuttles. And now we'll stretch this out a bit. We're going to come to starboard, and stand by, he took the hits, and three, I'm going to focus on you, there he's activated his wild weasel, hopefully with any luck, he will not, he will uh, shut off in time, so that we can have these missiles slam right into his vessel, come on, come on, turn, turn off, turn off, yes! Aha! 
so his defensive systems abandoned him at the very last moment. And we can fire a whole bunch of shots through. These PFs are just not worth it, I don't think. Like, I can understand a plasma PF. Plasma PFs are amazing. They're just like the greatest thing since sliced bread. Because it's two additional plasma torpedoes per PF. And that's just phenomenal. But, you know, these guys, they've got a disruptor. whoop de doo Let's have you guys come back and rearm. You. There you go. And let's set a probe, figure out what kind of Stardock you are. We will uh, go full reinforcement on forward shield. And tell me what kind of Starbase he is. It is indeed a Romulan Starbase. Why? Oh, yeah, duh. For some reason, I was thinking that the Romulans were our friend. It's like, no, no, they're not. Now, it does have a Plasma D, which can shoot quite a few times. Let's see if we can't overwhelm this. He should have a ton of tractor beam capability. Like, that should just be a given. I'm going to try and build, like, a demi-salva here. Using just the C-Rack. It doesn't have a ton of ammo, like, compared to the B-Racks, which are just, like, bottomless pits of ammunition. But, you know, you can fire it a lot. Maybe it'll stretch things out enough that I can get a good salvo going here. He has fired his torpedo at me at lock maximum range. So that's an interesting salvo right there. We got layers of incoming fire on this. So I'm tempted to launch fighters on top of this. We're going to do that. Fighters get in here, cause some damage. Disruptors are selected. Actually, we should really select everything except our missile launchers. That way we can just cause a massive blast here. Now I'm wondering if we can overwhelm this. Looks like we're going to be able to overwhelm it. But I am expecting a wild weasel at any moment. You do have a... Yep, there's the wild weasel. Let's get on... Fire everything you've got into him. All stop. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Because now we can't hit him. I didn't plan for that. I didn't think of that. I should have. All weapons fire! What was that? So he's holding on to a lot of weapon systems right now. And we're just going to fire everything we got into him. Passengers, if you want to chip in with your weapons too, that'd be cool. Cascade failure. Good job. Let's get the fighters back on board. Return. And return. Let's get another salvo out into space. And now. Wrong button. Now. So a more standard traditional firing salvo at this point. Increase speed. All up and select. Again, we're expecting a wild weasel. Oh, you jerk. You jerk of jerks. Do I have a Merv ready to go? I do not. Disruptors engage at full power. Mervs. We're split. There we go. Oh, we're hitting them. Haha, -ha, there was no escape. Alrighty, let's come in on this guy. It's time to end his life. Increase speed. How many more Mervs I got? Uh, these are our last four, so use them wisely. Let's get up to speed here. First Merv. Get ready with the second Merv strike. 
This will be all our Mervs. So you know what? We won't do that. We're going to give you a full a full barrel broadside here. Firing a plasma torpedo right at us. And he's cloaked. Oh crap, he's cloaked, so he's going to avoid most of these missiles. That's annoying. Let's slow right down. And yeah, I'm going to sit here because I can tank it. Crap, we're too close. We're too close! No! Oh, well, we're going to have to overcome him with just beam firepower. Increase the speed. Oh, no, apparently we're not too close. There we go. That's how you do it. You just pick them apart bit by bit. So good job there, everybody. And what do we get for that? 450 prestige, not bad. And a little bit of damage on the target. Pop back here, we need more ammunition. We should actually really be looking at an escort. We have a heavy battle cruiser X type. That'll be pretty interesting. It's got, uh, three Bs, two missile Raxes, nine phaser Xs. Uh, another battleship is on the line. Another Merv battleship, but that's that's way beyond us. A heavy dreadnought XM. That would be pretty cool, but no, not for us. We can't afford it yet. Twelve thousand three hundred and sixty for <laughs> for one of these an X-type battle battleship carrier. No, we're gonna go back to fighters. Ooh, we needed two passengers. Not good. Missiles restock. This is gonna be the full expensive restock. Yep, two hundred and seventy. Shuttles were topped off on miscellaneous. We'll pop us back up to. Th yeah, we'll go thirty-six marines. And we really should get more mines. Just go up to maximum mines. Why not? We're not really buying anything else right now. And patch up the killing song. Of course, we don't want to take too much damage. What are we up to? Empire Defense of 55, so we should be able to take that. Uh, but that's going to be a question for another day. That's going to be the end of the episode here. I've been Tirak. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.